Welcome all to the Weekly Outlook. Bernie here from Earlier Wave Pro. Getting straight into the Weekly Outlook, looking at the DXY on the daily time frame. I'm looking at a complex correction. We've got one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm looking for three up here as a complex correction. And then we get an A, B, C. So at this stage, I'm looking for upside. H4, I'm waiting for a correction. We've got a nice impulse up. So we've got a nice impulse up. I'm looking for some sort of a correction in here before we look for the buys. AU on the daily. It's the same. I'm looking for a triple three complex correction. One, two, three. One, two, three. And three possible three down here before we get that larger A, B, C. So I'm looking for a little bit of downside. This one is a little bit trickier, though. On the H4, we do have a possible ball hidden here. I'm not really looking at it. Well, you can't trade it to break the top. But um, it's more on the lower time frame on the H1. I'm looking for at least three down in here. We got a nice impulse down. Looking for a correction in here, possibly back to the 50 fib, and looking for an A, B, C. So I'm waiting for this correction, and then I can look for the sell. They're all very similar. GU. I'm looking at this A, B, a C down in here to finish off this B wave before we look for this A, B, C. Like a U, this one has a ball hidden, a possible ball hidden on the H4. But, um, yeah, I'm not really liking this one because we're already starting to get um, bullish divergence in here on the H1. You know, this could be some sort of a flat here. More than likely it will be um, for more downside, but we really need to see a, a decent correction before we start to look for the sell, because like I, I mentioned, we do have bearish divergence, uh, sorry, bullish divergence on this already on the H1 time frame. You can look to buy, but if you are buying, you know, you're buying into a possible correction, so it may be very choppy. EU, Looking at this A, B, C, A, B, C in here for this larger flat before we get an A, B, C. H4, we did get the five up. What we were looking for, we got that one, two, three, four, five up. At this wave five did just go and break the ending point of that wave three. Now we've got a nice impulse down. So again, like the others, I'm waiting for a correction in here. And then I'll look to sell. NU, very similar to AU. And a few of the others, I'm looking for a complex correction. Three, three, three. A one, we got one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm looking for three down in here. Or it may be five, a three, three, five. But either way, uh, I'm looking for downside at this stage. But like the others, you, you have to wait for this correction. We got the five up. And a nice impulse down. So just waiting for this correction. And then we can look for the sell. GY, looking for three down here, or but I'm not convinced this correction is over here yet. GY, we do have a ball hidden in here. I'm not looking at it as a um, to go and break the top, but we may get very deep correction of this uh, impulse down here, like I've mentioned many times. This is starting to still look rather bullish um more than likely this will turn into 
uh, a W X Y X Z, like we get uh, we we we're getting an A, a B, and a C in here. We may get some sort of a flat, and then we get W X Y X two and a Z up before we get the A B C. So I'm not convinced this is the end of the wave B from the price action we're getting in here at the moment. If anything, I'd be looking for the sell into, uh, you know, wherever this ends, looking for a, a nice impulse down and a correction to sell into a C wave for this A, B, C. And then I'd be looking for a buy again, like I showed on the uh, H4. So, um, like, I wouldn't be looking to buy... Uh, uh, very risky to buy. I mean, we can see how choppy this is. You know, it's very choppy. So I'm looking at it as a B wave at this stage to possibly go and break that top. Then we get a C down, running or expanding flat before we get a larger C up. UY on the daily. I'm looking for downside. I'm looking at a little flat in here. On the H4, we were looking for this C up. We've got the C up. It, it's it has actually broken the, broken the ending point of this wave A here. So we're getting an expanding flat. I'm looking at it as an expanding flat, and we get one, two, three, expanding flat before we get A, B, C. So again, I'm really only looking for downside. Um, but it's not giving any setups for the downside at this stage. Um, we're getting all that bearish divergence, but we're just not getting that nice impulse down. I was thinking it may give us a, a downside from there, um, and that was the end of the wave C. Uh, but, you know, that went straight up and broke the top. So, you know, um, we're getting all that bearish divergence. So I'm only looking for a sell, but uh, like I mentioned, there is no sell set up at it. At, at this stage, I'd be waiting for this to end, get a nice impulse down, a bearish correction, and then I could look for at least three down. And ideally, it goes and breaks the uh, ending point of that wave B for the wave C down on the daily. <clears throat> the CAD... <clears throat> This, uh, you know, I was looking for that wave Z over here. That never happened. So we've been in this very large correction in here. Going back to the last section, you know, we, we got the five up in here. We got that like one, two, three, four, five up. And then we got this nice impulse down. So we're looking for a correction and another for a sell to go and break this low. Well, it done that. And now it's shot up. Um, I thought this, like, C wave in here would have went a lot further. It never did. It just broke this uh, ending point of wave A, eh? and it, it shot up. It's it's a buy. You can only buy this. <clears throat> you'd, you'd be looking at the H1 here as some sort of a flat in here, and you get, like, one, two, three. You've got to wait for that wave four, and then you could trade that wave five up. Um, again, there's not... There's really nothing on it at this stage. Um, I'd like to see like a a a bull hidden in here, um, in this wave four, and then you know a bullish setup to buy for that wave five. Uh, the Swissy. Not really liking this. Uh, this is very difficult. If you've been following me for a while, we're in sideways here for uh, weeks and weeks in here. It did start to shoot up, but this may be some sort of an A, B, C in here, a flat before we get, you know, more downside for a, a three down in here. And then you get an A, B, C as a running or expanding flat before we get more downside. So I've pretty much been keeping out of this um with this pair because it's very difficult to trade at this stage you know the, the, there's nothing really to trade on it this was the low over here and you got all this correction over here before it went you know virtually impossible to trade um, but it's gone now um, 
like I mentioned, I'd be looking at an A, an A, B, C, um, and a choppy wave C up in here um, before more downside. I'm pretty much just staying out of this one. <clears throat> you could look for a buy, um, for a wave five, five, like one, two, three, four, five, but it's so choppy that I'd just leave it alone. There's a lot better pairs to trade. E.g. on the daily, we're looking for any buy setup. Um, like I've mentioned, we've got all that bullish divergence. We are starting to get a, a bullish setup here. I was looking for that. I was looking for at least an A, B, C here. We we're looking for a buy here. That took off with that non-farm payroll. So it's starting to give us a nice correction. This may turn a little bit more complex in here, like an A, B. We get a C up in here as some sort of a running or expanding flat. Then we get an A, B, C before we get the A, B, C. And this may turn motive. More than likely will turn motive because where we are on the daily, right at the, the lows with all that bullish divergence. So I'm pretty much looking at that, that correction I just showed um, I was sort of looking for one, two, three, four. We had a ball hidden in here. I was looking for a wave five up there to go and break that top. and never did. Instead, we're getting a larger correction. Uh, and I'm looking at it that one, two, we get three up in here as that flat. And then an A, B, C, larger correction before I'd look for that one, two, three. WTI, well, I've had this, these lines on here for quite some time. So this is a correction I'm looking at, a possible correction. This has been very difficult to trade too, uh, you know, because we got some sort of a very large correction in there. Um, and it was very deep to this wave A or wave one. We got one, two, three. I'll be looking at an A, some sort of a a B and a C in here. Some sort of a flat, similar size to this over here. And then I'd look for a wave five up for one, two, three, four, five. Until I get this correction, um, I'm pretty much staying out of it. This is been very difficult to trade like i said this was very hard to uh determine that this was an, an expanding flat in here there was a buy on the lower time frames in here to buy this but you know that's over come straight back and would have taken you out at break even or you took a little bit of profit gold's right up the top it's still very much bullish up here. Um, I'm pretty much leaving the loan up the top. You can scalp. You you, you can scalp these tops, but um, yeah, you got to be careful um, buying at the top of the market. I'm more in, in, interested in a sell. Um, it's definitely not giving a sell, as you can see. It's more more bullish. I wouldn't be surprised if that goes and breaks the top. But wherever this ends, I'm looking for a nice impulse down and correction and then a sell set up to for at least three down i'm more interested in the sell than scalping these buys if you're looking to buy <coughs> excuse me if you're looking to buy you're just scalping just just to break that top and you're, you're scalping on the lower time frames um to get into these trades to to just scalp Silver has given us that wave set up, what we're looking for. Uh, it has broken the ending point of that wave Y, this like W, X, Y. We're looking for that X2 and a Z up. We've got the Z up. It hadn't got to our targets, but it has broken the ending point of that wave Y. That's all it needed to do. It's more of a sell now, um, but it's not giving us self set up. Like we got nice uh, bearish divergence in here, a nice impulse down, but this is starting to go not looking very corrective. 
like we'd want to see after that impulse. Like we got the nice impulse down. It's like one, two, three, four, five on a lower time frame. Get the five up, and then you can start to look for a sell for at least an A, B, C. But again, there's really nothing on it at this stage. Um, you know. Bitcoin, very much bullish. Um, I was looking for that W, X, Y, X2, and a Z up to go from here to break that ending point of wave Y. It never did. Instead, we got this long, drawn-out correction in here. On the lower time frames, um, you know, I was looking for it to go here, you know, that and that be the low. But it only gave us three up, impulse down, and that impulse went up and broke the top. So it's more bullish. Um, but is this ready to go? Uh, well, we do have three down in here, so you definitely could look for a buy. Um, I'll just go down to the lower time frame. You'd be even going down to a lower time frame than this. But um, you'd be waiting for a correction of this impulse here, and then you'd look for a buy. Ideally breaking that daily top because this is all corrective. This is definitely corrective. Whatever's happening in here is corrective to go up and break that top. How long and drawn out this uh, correction is, well, that's anyone's guess. Um, but yeah, may get a, a nice buy set up like I showed on this H1. Um, we got a nice impulse up. So if you get a nice correction in here, you definitely can look for a buy. S and P five hundred, you know, it, it's still going up, um, but very difficult to buy up the top. Well, it's not difficult to buy; it's just risky to buy. We got all that bearish divergence, um, and if you're scalping the buyers, you you're buying right at the top of the market. Uh, there's bearish divergence on just about all the time frames. Daily, there's bearish divergence. H4, there's bearish divergence. H1, there's bearish divergence. So, you know, I'd be more interested in, you know, waiting for a nice impulse down, a correction, and looking for a sell. Um, but again, there's there's no setup to sell. And if you're buying, you're just scalping, you know. AU two hundred. This looks like a flat here. Larger flat. If I just zoom out, oh, overall I am looking for. Like over here, we got five down. Then we got that three up. So I'm looking for this down in here as some sort of a running or expanding flat. So I am looking for downside, but again, we're not getting uh, any sell setups. It's looking very choppy up here. I wouldn't be buying. You know, I definitely wouldn't be buying. It's like uh, S and P five hundred. We're getting divergence on all the time frames. We're getting bearish divergence on all the time frames. H four, we're getting bearish divergence on this. H one, we got bearish divergence between the two tops. This goes up and breaks the top. You know, um, we'll be getting even more bearish divergence. This is very choppy. You know, very difficult to trade. Virtually impossible to trade because it, as soon as you get in, it come back, take you out. You get in, come back, take you out. Get in, come back, take you out. Get in, and this will come back, take you out. It's very choppy breaking the top, so there may, may be some sort of a flat here, like an A, B, C. But, yeah, I'm more interested in a sell, and it's just simply not giving us a sell set up. So you got to sit on the sideline and wait for it. It's a patience game. Uh, the footsie. I thought this might have actually 
went here. Um, but we are looking for that larger correction in here, that time factor to go. Um, it's more of a buy, this one, um, because we had that nice impulse up breaking this top and we're getting some sort of an a b and some sort of a c this may even turn even more complex as sort of one two three one two three before we get one two three before you get that buy set up over here somewhere so it's a patience game on this as well very choppy you know um very difficult to trade and you if you're looking for the buy, you're buying at the top of the market. You know? So, yeah. Lastly, the DAX. So, looks like we're getting some sort of, Well, you know, we got a nice impulse up. Not really looking at that as all the correction, but we did get a correction there for three up. Maybe some sort of a flat in here for an A, B, C. But again, you know, you're buying right at the top of the market. Um, so you've got to be very careful. You're really just scalping on the lower time frames, um, please. There was that uh, ball hidden in here that I mentioned, you know, for this to go up and break the top. Um, it pretty much played out how I was looking at it last week. Because last week... We had a bear hidden on the lower time frames here. It went and broke that low, so that was great. And then you get a buy set up, you know, to go and break that top with that bull hidden here. So I wouldn't be surprised if it does go and break the top. But again, you know, you probably missed, you know, if you weren't looking, you probably missed the buy setups. So, you know, I would be leaving it alone and looking for a sell, you know. Um, as soon as this top here is broken, we're going to start getting a lot of bearish divergence. So I'd be more interested in the sell. So I hope you all enjoyed the weekly outlook. If you did, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you out there next week.